In this video, we'll look at what is meant by health inequalities and why this is important for people with learning disabilities who have an unsafe swallow, sometimes called dysphagia. My name is Gerard Wainwright and I'm a learning disability nurse. In the video, I'm going to talk about health inequalities for people with learning disabilities and swallowing difficulties. By the end of the session, you'll be able to identify what is meant by health inequalities and why this is important when supporting people with learning disabilities. People with learning disabilities die, on average, 15 to 20 years sooner than the general population. Some of these deaths do not need to happen. In some cases, they can be prevented with good quality health care. This is a health inequality. Some of the deaths of people with learning disabilities are due to the person having swallowing difficulties. An unsafe swallow, also known as dysphagia, is when someone has difficulty chewing and swallowing and can cause food to go down the wrong way. This can cause a chest infection and choking. It can make the person unwell and lead to aspiration pneumonia, weight loss and lots of other health problems. It can also cause stress for the person and their carers. Pneumonia or aspiration pneumonia accounts for over 40% of deaths in people with learning disabilities, according to the Learning Disability Mortality Review. The number of people who die due to aspiration pneumonia and pneumonia and don't have a learning disability is much lower. Many of the conditions causing aspiration pneumonia are treatable and in some cases can be prevented with the right care. If a person has a more severe learning disability, they may be at a bigger risk of having trouble swallowing. If you support people with high needs, you can expect to see higher risks. Prevention is better than cure, and in this training, we'll look at things that we can do as health and social care workers with the support of other health professionals to reduce the risk of an unsafe swallow and help keep people safe with learning disabilities. How do health inequalities impact on people with learning disabilities with an unsafe swallow? Often, the signs of an unsafe swallow are missed. This can mean that the person becomes unwell because they're finding it hard to eat and drink. Finding it hard to eat and drink may cause food and drink to go down the wrong way, which may cause chest infections, discomfort, weight loss and choking. If chest infections are serious, they can lead to aspiration pneumonia and will usually mean the person is very poorly and will need to go to hospital. They might need to have oxygen to help them breathe and to be given antibiotics for an injection or a drip. People can die from aspiration pneumonia. People can also die from other symptoms caused by an unsafe swallow, such as choking, losing weight and urine infections. Sometimes health professionals think that an unsafe swallow is due to a person having a learning disability. This is called diagnostic overshadowing. Some people with learning disabilities have difficulties accessing health services and appointments. This may be due to physical barriers such as buildings which are not designed for people who use wheelchairs. Or it can be due to information not being provided in a way a person with a learning disability will understand. Sometimes, people we support need reasonable adjustments to enable them to get the most out of health services and to attend health appointments. Without this, signs the person has an unsafe swallow can be missed. But there are things we can do to address these health inequalities. By having the right knowledge and skills to know how to identify if someone has swallowing difficulties, we can make an appointment for them to see their GP who can check their health. The person can also be referred to other health professionals who can help assess them, put things in place to reduce the risks of an unsafe swallow and help prevent swallowing difficulties leading to serious problems like aspiration pneumonia, choking, distress, weight loss and other things. This will be covered in more detail in the next video. By working together and ensuring we get the right help at the right time for the people we support with swallowing difficulties we can reduce the risk to their health and support them to stay safe when eating and drinking. It's very important that people with learning disabilities are supported to attend their annual health check. 
having an annual flu jab can also help reduce risks. You or someone in your workplace will need to complete a capacity assessment with your client. And if they don't have capacity to make a decision about a vaccination, to hold a best interest meeting with the relevant people. It's also important to keep accurate records of any changes in the person's eating patterns. Coughing when eating or drinking, any changes in the person's behaviour at mealtimes, or an increase in chest infections. If you have any concerns, you should contact your GP. You should now be able to identify what is meant by health inequalities, why swallowing difficulties are an example of a health inequality for people with learning disabilities, what is meant by reasonable adjustments, and why it is important to speak to the GP about any concerns.